Hey everybody, it's Adam Oshi. I know it's been a hot minute since I uploaded a video, but um, I've been working on my first suit, um, the, the full suit. I'm almost done with it. I just gotta make the bodysuit, so uh, I'm gonna have to have some people help me make the duct tape dummy. But basically, it's all I got left on it. But uh, even though it's not completely finished, I wanted to show what I do have. So I have the head and the hand paws. And I do have the feet and the tail uh, made as well, but for this video I just wanted to show at least the head and the, the hand paws, and then I'll show off the rest of it whenever I, you know, the feet and the tail when I get the, uh, the bodysuit done. So I just wanted to put out something. So let me go and put on a uh, the head and I'll just show you with it on me. So give me a minute. <laughs> hey, here he is. This is Najee the skunk. So this is just the head and the hand paws. And I just wanted to show off this part and then I'll show all the rest of it later when I get the body suit finished. So but I do have the feet and the tail finish. But for now, just a quick little you know video for just showing the main part of it. Yeah, this is Najee, the skunk. And yeah, so this is what he looks like. And I'm really happy how he turned out. And there's a lot of um, things that I feel like were, um, let me get my thoughts here. I made a lot of improvements from the last suit over, you know, from, from the carrot, but uh, there's still a lot of room for improvement for you know, continue on making my, uh, suits, but for my second suit, I am really happy how this turned out. Honestly, I've had this this head and the, the hand balls finished for like months. I've just been working on the other parts, but I don't work on it like every single day because I got a life and other things that I got to do and stuff. So I just do this in my spare time. But you know, I'm really happy with how he turned out. And honestly, I like the feet and the, the tail, but I'll show those later. But anyway, yeah, there's his hand paws. So um, I like how between the carrots paw pads and these, these actually look proportional. Like they look about the same size and about the same amount of stuffing in them. And I made uh, my own paw pattern instead of using someone else's, which I do like the other one. It's, it's a great paw pattern. But this one, I made my own paw pattern and I wanted bigger claws. So I gave him some big monster claws and I just love it. So yeah, I did that. And honestly, if I had to change anything about these paws, um, I think, uh, I mean, I like that I left the paw, the palm part of his paw. Uh, the fur is, not shaven down. It's still long on his palm, but I think from now on, I think I'll just leave that, sh you know, shave that part, but keep the top of his hand, his paw, long. I like that. I just wanted to see how it looked with them long, for the fur to be long on the, on the palms. So yeah, I'm happy with the paws. Yeah. Hopefully you can get a good look at it. Yeah, the palm. The paw pads are minky and the claws are minky. Everything else is luxury shag fur that I bought from uh, How Fabric. And same thing with the, uh, the black fur. The difference between the black fur and the green and the purple is that this is like a fox faux shag fur. It's not exactly the same. It's a little more coarse, but at the time, it's all they had in stock for the black fur, and I was like, you know, it's fine. And, you know, it turned out great on this suit. But anyway, yeah, he's got green eyes, and he's got a, like a mohawk thing going on. And I'll turn around, and hopefully I could stay in the, the camera's eye here to be able to see the back of the head. That's what he looks like from the side. And from this side, he's got a, he's got a scar, so get a scar he's got fluffy cheek so at first I was gonna make these cheek fluffs out of um, foam and that didn't really work out it didn't look really great so what I ended up doing is basically making these like little pillows and I sewed them up 
and sewed them on, or I sewed them onto this, to the, the, you know, to the fur onto the head here. So basically they're like little pillows. They have polyfill in them, but they don't have a whole lot because I don't want them like super fat, you know, looking. So just enough. They have a little bit of flap to them, but not so much where they're going like this. So yeah, and the back of them, hopefully you can see the back. The back is black. The front is purple. And yeah, he's got his stripe and the mohawk's kind of towards the, you know, the middle of the back of his head. So hopefully I was in view of the camera for that. Um, the eyes, obviously, I usually build the eyes for like paint the eyes up first. And the green of the eyes is not quite the, uh, the, the lime green of the suit, but you know, it's close enough and I'm fine with it. But uh, I love it so much, he's just so cute. Oh! <laughs> I'm just really happy how he turned out. So yeah, his nose is minky. Uh, the tongue is minky. Let me take the paws off so you can actually, I can open up the mouth and be able to see a little bit better. Hang on just a second. All right, I'm back. So maybe you can see, there's his tongue. So the teeth are not super great, but I like the tongue. The tongue is so, so, so much better. And yeah, I actually made the little split down the middle. It's not quite symmetrical how I would like it, but um, it looks a lot better than, than carrots. His is just a general U shape with nothing else. So um, yeah, the teeth are not the best. But it's my first try at doing pol uh, plushy teeth. And yeah, they're kind of, they're not really great, but I mean, first try, you know. I'll get better as I practice with it. Once again, the nose, I feel like the nose is, it's just too flat in my opinion. I would like for it to be bigger, like for it to really pop, but you know. That's the next uh, the next suit that I make or head for that I make. I'm going to try to really focus on making the nose look really, really good. I'm just I want the nose to look just phenomenal and want it to be able to like the profile to actually be able to notice the nose sticking out. So, but yeah, this one's still flat, but I mean it still looks. I think it looks fine. But I would like to make pickable nose. This is just flat, you know. It is a little bit of material there, but it's not a whole lot. But I would like to make it a pickable nose if I can, depending on what species I make. But I have no idea what I'm gonna make next, to be honest. But yeah, he's got. So um, unlike Carrot, his eyebrows are minky. That's been like glued down and had like lining around it. This one, I actually took the fur and just built it into the the pattern of the fur. So this is like sewn in as if it's like, you know, the rest of the stripes and, you know, it's sewn in. So, I think he looks good. His follow me eyes are okay enough. Like they're not, great they're still kind of like carrots they don't really have that follow me eye that i would like to have they're there a little bit but not to the degree i would like them to and i still i don't know i'm still trying to figure out how to get that effect so i mean these are 3d printed eyes that i got from that furry convention i went to i bought it from a vendor there i don't know if i'm not putting it deep enough into the head or what i don't know i'll figure it out but anyway, yeah, that's, that's Naji. He's my cute skunk boy. But yeah, that's the paws. So the tongue is that minky, the hot pink minky. And the, the nose is a uh, minky material and the claws are minky. Everything else is luxury shag or that uh, faux fox fur stuff. So once again, there's the back. <laughs> that's his 
this mohawk. Yeah, he's got this scar that's also made out of that hot pink minky. So, yeah, honestly, the way I did the scar, I, I still need to practice with that because it didn't turn out super great. But, I mean, it's fine, I guess. But there could have been an easier process in to making it look like it's a scar dug out and not just, I didn't want it to just look like, you know, the way these eyebrows look where it's a part of the fur. I don't want it to make it look like it's part of the fur, like it's a, uh, a marking, like it's an actual cut into the flesh where there's no fur growing there. And I want it to make it look like it had an indention. So I don't know how well that turned out, but I hope, I hope it looks like it, it's a scar and not a fur marking, but yeah, it's supposed to be a cut. Why he has a cut on his face? I have no idea. I just thought it looked cool. <laughs> so that's why I put it there. But anyway, yeah, that's Naji the skunk. And I just wanted to show him off. So he's got a, he got a mohawk. I think he just turned out adorable and I love him so much. So for my second fursuit, I think he turned out amazing. And obviously I've got lots of room to grow, you know, for improvement. But between my first fursuit, which was Carrot the Orange Cat, and this one, it was, I'm amazed by the improvement uh, that I've made. So hopefully I'll continue to make improvements and make better quality suits. And hopefully one day I'll be ready to have um, pre, uh, pre-made for sale and eventually take on commissions. So I hope you enjoyed this video where I showed off my boy, Naji. And so, yeah, so that first, uh, the, the furry convention I went to, I uh, also am going to go this year, it's in September. It's um, Mifit Fur Mate, and it's in Olive Branch, Mississippi. Um, and I'm gonna go there and I'm going as this sticky boy right here. So if, uh, if you go, then come and get a picture with me and say hi. So have a good day. Bye-bye. See you later, alligators.